Exercise 15, Creating and Connecting Shapes, part of the Excel 2007 Core Preparation Guide brought to you by ShiftKey Solutions. In this exercise, we're going to be looking at creating two separate shapes and connecting them with an arrow or line. So, in order to do this, we're going to look at creating a shape and applying it within this area here. So, in order to do that, I'm going to come to my Insert tab and in my illustrations group I'm going to click shapes. Now the shape I want to create is going to be a rounded rectangle. So here are my rectangle sections. I'm going to click rounded rectangle. When I click on that my cursor changes to a thin plus sign. So I'm going to place my thin plus sign here in the top left corner of H2. I'm going to click and drag down right about like that. Then I'm going to let go and there's my shape. After creating the shape, I want to enter some text into this shape. With my shape selected, and I can tell that it's selected because of the sizing handles that are active, and I get a new tab available up here, Drawing Tools Contextual Format tab. This would not be displayed if this were not selected already. Now with it being selected, I simply start typing. I'm going to type in, From the Kitchen. The next shape I want to add is going to be a rounded rectangle, and I want to in insert it within this area here. So I'm going to come back to my insert tab and here to my shapes and then here in my rectangles I'm going to click rounded rectangle. My cursor changes to a thin plus sign. I click and drag and drop that right there and then I simply start typing. I want to type to you with an exclamation mark at the end. So now I have two shapes here on my worksheet. Now I want to connect them with a line. So I'm going to deselect my shape. I'm going to come to the insert tab again, illustrations group and click my shapes. And then from here I'm going to come down to my line section and then here in my lines I'm going to click this arrow. My cursor changes to a thin plus sign again and then as I take my cursor and I slowly move it over the top rounded rectangle shape I can see that I get these red sizing handles here, but they're not sizing handles. They look like sizing handles. What they are are join points. So if I put my cursor right here in this bottom one and I click and drag down and then until I get to this next shape, there are the red join points here as well. See if I drop it right here on this top one and let go, now these shapes are joined together. And I can demonstrate that by moving this bottom shape. If I click and move this around, see how the join line stays with it? That's pretty convenient. I'll replace it back to where it was, and there it is. I'm going to select my line again, and with my line selected, I want to modify this shape a little bit. Here in my Format tab, in the Shape Styles group, I'm going to click the Shape Outline drop down. And from here I'm going to come down to weights and I'm going to see that the current weight is three quarter point. If I cursor over these different weights I can see that it graduates up as I cursor over them. The one I want to choose is going to be three points. And I click this and now it is modified. I'm going to click to deselect it and then I'm going to save my work. That concludes exercise 15, creating and connecting shapes. Next will be exercise 16, modifying zoom level